Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to add photos over your videos in iMovie. This is a feature that I think is very important to take advantage of, especially if you are using iMovie as your main video editor, since this adds a lot to your editing. So it's very important to know how to do this. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in today's video. So let's go into iMovie real quick and see how to do this. So I'm just going to go in here. And as you can see, I do have three video projects here already. I did recently do videos on the new update that was released to iMovie. This is a very big update and a very nice update. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll have links in the description box below and the iPod top where you can check that out and see if it's worth updating for you. But I really recommend you do update iMovie to its latest software. But okay, let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm going to go into this my movie and then I'm going to go to edit. And now we're going to start with adding in our photos. So in order to do this, as you can see, I have my video here. So adding a photo over a video, what that means is you have your main video, which is in this section here. This entire thing is your storyline and you want to add a photo over, say, this clip. So this could be a PNG image to add a little something more to your clip, or this could be just an image you want to talk about in your video, um, anything like that. So how you go about this is I'm going to go to the plus button here and then you're going to go to photos. And as you can see, here are just a few images as examples that I'm going to be using, but you can insert any image that you want that's relating to your video, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to insert this little app icon that I have here. And once you tap on your image here, you'll see you have two options. You have this plus button here and you have three dots. So the plus button here, you're not going to be selecting to add a photo over a video. It's just going to add it in as its own little video clip in the main storyline. So that's not what you want to do. So you're going to click on the three dots here and then you have four different options here. So the first one is cutaway. Now, depending on the clip that you are inserting, this could be something you want to use or not. So basically what cutaway does is it entirely replaces what um, this video that's underneath this image um, with the image itself. So if you had maybe like an audio playing or like a voiceover or something and you just want to put a photo over it, you can use cutaway for that. So then it just entirely replaces that video. It's not like over the video or anything. It just entirely replaces it but you still have like the audio playing here and things like that. Then the second option you have here is picture in picture, which I think is the option that is most used and most useful. Um, so I'm just gonna click on that. And what this does is it basically adds in your picture over that video clip that you have here. Um, and with this, you can also move it around um, using these icons to rescale it, size it, all that. So you can click on this icon here um, to kind of just like drag it to a certain place here. So I'm just gonna put it like in this corner here. And um, this option here is to add a border around it or not. But if you have a transparent image, you don't, you're not gonna wanna left that enabled because it will add a white background to it. So you can just disable that if you want. And then you have your image added over your video, easy as that. Then you have two other options, which is split screen here. So split screen basically just splits your screen in half. So one half will be the clip underneath the image that you added and the other half will be your image. This option I barely ever use. Um, I think it's more used when you are adding videos over videos, but photos over videos, I don't think you're gonna be using this as much. You also have a few options here. So this one basically just flips the line where it splits your clips and this line here just adds a little white line between it or you can remove that so you can just choose whichever one you want um, but yeah that is what those options are and then the last option is green slash blue screen which helps if you have a green screen image so for instance i have this image here which has a green background and then i can go to these three dots here use the green slash blue screen option and then it will remove the green background and it will just have um, the image, which is really nice. So that's also an easy way to use this option for images. This again is more used when you're adding videos over videos because video green screens are more a thing than just images which can already have a transparent background. You don't need to have a green background for it. Um, but you can also then edit it here by adjusting the strength. So if you have like me like a strange green, um, as you can see, it just removes more of the background to make it more precise. And then you can also use this option here to crop your image. So you can see I have this little white line here which is because the clip wasn't the exact size as this clip. So you can then just use this option to crop that out entirely um, and just have your little 
image and as you can see there's no white line there so that's also that the only downfall for this little option here is you can't move this around like a picture in picture which you can easily drag around and move wherever you want this is stuck in its place where it is on your green screen you can't move it around at all so this is why that's not a most popular option so main thing we can take away from this the best option my most recommended option is using picture in picture to add photos over your videos in iMovie it has more flexibility with moving it around you can add pngs so transparent backgrounds um, and it's just a very easy way to add photos over your videos do note that iMovie only has a one overlay limit so for instance if you want to add another image over this exact clip it's not going to work because iMovie only allows one photo over your video at a time so if i were to try to add in another image here let's go with this one picture in picture you'll see that it just added it in front um, or you can add it in afterwards but you can't add it over um, the same image so that's just something that iMovie does kind of sucks but it is what it is so yeah that is how you add images over your videos in iMovie i hope this helped you guys out and you now have a good idea of how to use this feature like i mentioned it's an important feature to be using um very helpful to know how to use it so yeah let me know in the comments down below if this helped you guys or if you have any other questions regarding this if this video did help you out give this video a thumbs up it really does help me out a lot so i really appreciate that and definitely subscribe for more videos like this Click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!